Hey guys, M.A. Fish Guy here doing a fish breeding video on the crib cichlid. Uh, right there's my male. Right there's my female. Uh, these guys are real easy to tell the genders on. The males are going to be more of a brightly colored. Their top and bottom fins are going to be more pointed. And a lot longer and extend pretty much the length of their back tail fin. Uh, whereas the females is a little hard to tell, but the color's not as defined. They're going to have a purple belly. There she comes. And they're going to have more of a rounded fin. Their fins aren't going to be as pretty. There's a nice shot of her. So like I said, the purple belly. Some of the males may have a purple on them, but it's not going to be as defined. Uh, she hides a lot. I think she's definitely getting ready to breed. Uh, but these guys are a nice beginner cichlid. They're real easy to tell the genders on. The water conditions aren't huge. I keep the water about 78. And that way it kind of keeps them in the breeding mood at all times. I condition them by feeding them frozen foods, brine shrimp, blood worms, everything like that. Uh, frozen food is the best way unless you can do live. But live can just be a pain in the butt. Like I said, water quality doesn't really matter as long as you keep the nitrates, nitrites, and ammonias down. You know, as low as possible, if zero if possible. Uh, the pH really doesn't matter. My pH is 7.8, but I've seen them breeding anything from 7.0 to 8.2. So they're really not too picky on that. Uh, you do want to have quite a few hiding spots. These guys can be a shy fish. As you can see, they keep hiding. All right, when it comes to breeding cribs, uh, they kind of do it secretively. And what you really want to do to help entice it is like this. You want a gravel covered clay pot or actually a coconut shell, like a half hollowed out coconut shell. Uh, these are the main things that these guys breed in, and they'll actually breed almost upside down. Like all mine have bred like on the underside of like the clay pot or the driftwood, and are very, very protective of the babies. I actually think they're building a nest right down there. But after they lay the eggs, the babies will hatch after about three to seven days, depending on the temperature that you have your tank at. If you keep it higher, they're going to hatch faster, uh, but sometimes the health can be a quality issue right there uh, and the babies are pretty pretty usually healthy as long as you condition the parents right the parents are very protective over the babies uh, so you definitely want to keep that in mind but if you can't get a pair or a proven breeding pair like I found then you want to get about four to six of these guys and let them pair off individually uh, and then put the proven pair into another tank and that way they can breed without a problem the two fry that are actually in here are from a past breeding these guys had um, so that's why they're still in here. You can really keep the babies in with a female as long as she's not basically ready to produce babies again. But as you can see, these guys are getting quite aggressive, so I'm probably going to pull the fry out. Um, what is a weird behavior with these guys is don't be alarmed if the female sucks the babies into the mouth. They aren't a mouth brooder, but they do kind of when they're alarmed or scared or think danger is coming they will suck the babies into the mouth sometimes I have seen that happen a couple of times so definitely don't freak out about it and like I said these guys are very aggressive when it comes to protecting the babies if you want to feed the babies something do crushed flake food or baby brine shrimp uh, just pretty much take anything you can take a rolling pin put it in a plastic ziploc bag and mash it up and press so you have baby food um, I'll be doing a video on that just to kind of show everybody how to create a unique blend of foods that gets your fry great nutrition out of everything. So yeah, when it comes to these guys, I breed them a 10 gallon tank, no problem. Um, water parameters are really not an issue. These guys will pretty much breed in anything, but you do want a coconut shell or a half buried or at least a semi buried clay pot in there. Uh, the babies will hatch about three to seven days depending on temperature. Crush flake food for these guys. Uh, and when it comes to sexing the male, like I said, long top fin and bottom fin. And the females usually have that bright purple belly. So it's definitely not hard to miss. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns about these guys, post it down in the comments below. If you have a video you want me to do, Post it down below and I'll work on it as soon as possible. I have tons of reviews and requests coming in, uh, so I will get to it. Just be patient. If I don't get to it within like a week, week and a half, post another comment, please. I haven't forgot about you, but sometimes YouTube doesn't always post my comments in my mailbox. 
So thanks for watching. Check out mafishguide.com for all your aquarium supply needs.